uh, just real quick, we can do a raise of hands. How many of you think men are more held to their gender role standards? Okay, that's the majority. And then two of you think women, uh, you think it's the other way around? Women are held to their standards more? I think it's more so equal just in very different ways. So but you think it's equal too? Yeah. Yeah, it depending on what, what's the topic. Okay, so tell me why you think it's equal. I just feel like you can, there's a lot of different uh, examples that you can think of for either side as to gender roles that are still enforced today. Okay, I disagree with both of you, and I'll tell you why. Um, I think with men, right, if you're not held, if you're not like masculine, have your shit together financially, in the gym, training, etc., they're going to call you a soy boy, they're going to ridicule you, you're going to be made fun of, etc. Like, there's real world ramifications for not performing as a man mm -hmm. however and I'll, and I'll take the female side here in a second to show you why it's not 50 50 mm -hmm. on the female side though if you act like a boy or if you're more masculine and you chase a career and you make money etc society rewards you for that they say go get your bag be successful etc so right. if you behave like a man you're respected mm -hmm. and if you behave like a woman you're still respected because they'll be like oh she's a feminine woman she's attractive like some girls might shame you because it's like oh you don't have an education blah 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 but I don't think it's to the same degree as if you're a man and you don't get your shit together. Because if you're a woman, whether you're masculine or if you're feminine, you can still find a dude. But as a dude, if you're just a pussy, a lot of women aren't going to take you seriously. Correct. The thing or is, if you're broke. is that's like, right. like basically what I'm trying to say is there's more consequences for you as a man if you don't stick to your roles. Versus as a woman, there aren't as many consequences. So that's why I don't think it's equal. But I'll turn so, it to you guys. So let me ask you something. I don't know sure. if you're in a relationship or not. What if you was to get into a relationship? What are you expecting from your woman? Mm. Uh, well, I do have a girlfriend. I do Ooh. have a main girl. But um, she. So uh, what expectations? A main girl. Don't get as that. Yeah. 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 What do you expect her to continue doing? Uh, well, I mean, from she, what you was raised, what you was taught, and what you was, you know. Her job is to be to be happy and not be a pain in the ass for it to me. Um, and that's what, really and what is job. that? Explain yourself. Let, let me ask. Oh, I'm sorry. Answer the question. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, I mean, her her job is to you know be happy and not be a pain in the ass and you know help me out with things that I need. She helps me manage my real estate. She helps me my, with my other YouTube channel. My um, I have a true crime YouTube channel that I do. She helps me with the research for that. Um, she makes sure like. You know, miscellaneous bullshit with my real estate stuff because I got like 20 properties, 50 plus tenants. So she like makes Ooh. sure like the water bills and all that dumb shit is paid. Mm -hmm. She coordinates with my parents because they help manage my real estate in Connecticut. So she does a lot of things like behind the scenes and helps me out with that stuff. Um, and yeah, and you know, I, I don't think sh uh, she works for me basically. Well, you, you said, said she works for girl. You? Yeah, she works for me. I don't think women should work. Put woman on, I don't think women should. And if they do, I think they need to work for their man Period. if they do have a job. Is that not a gender role that you're imposing on women on. On, today? Sorry? Is that not a gender role that you're imposing on women? And, like, here's the thing. Yeah, I, I, I impose it, right? But that's right. because I'm a traditionally masculine guy. Uh -huh. I would argue a majority of men are not traditionally masculine men. Definitely and they don't not. put these same standards on women. Most sure, guys don't have the balls to stand up to their girl and tell them, I need you to do X, Y, Z. Most guys kind of are happy just to have a girl take them seriously. And that's what I mean mm -hmm. when I say female gender roles are not reinforced because the men don't reinforce them on the women it's the women can act however they want and they don't put boundaries on that but I, but on the other hand like it's not the other way around i think that generally speaking a lot of the people that will call men soy boys and uh shit on them for being not traditionally masculine are the same people that shit on women for chasing their bag and being masculine and not uh wanting to adhere to yeah like, it's guys like me but we're a minority Okay, exactly. So those people is what I'm saying are the ones that uh, shit on quote unquote soy boys. And a yeah. lot of women today, I think, also are into more feminine guys. Like in my experience, I mean, in my generation at least, that is very much the case. Um, okay, so. <laughs> Can we break down feminine guys? What does that mean? Um, you know, guys that, hey, guys that are more. Um, in tune with their emotions. It, more guys Wanted that are to, more. Hey, that are, they don't prioritize fitness as much, they don't prioritize financial. Um, you know, uh, making getting money and being a provider, they think that you know they should go half and half with their woman. Guys that are more egalitarian, so to speak, more equal, fifty-fifty guys. Now, but that's like feminist guys. That's not even necessarily just like generally feminine dudes. Like I know a lot of feminine dudes that also uh, adhere to some, you know, norms that are currently. So How would you accepted. define feminine? A feminine guy, then? How would you define that? I think it's more related to just like uh, expressing both aspects of yourself like the feminine and the masculine uh with a little bit less inhibition as to like how it looks socially uh i think a lot of guys are more internally feminine than they think and that they like act mm, in a way that 
represses that a lot of the time just like okay. unconsciously. we can talk about the feminization of men but i mean just to stick to the to the topic at hand remember it was which gender right is punished for not adhering to the roles more men and i argue that men are because if i'm a guy right and i am one of these oh let me be 50 50 or let me like have a more feminine take on things etc like women aren't going to be as attracted and as aroused by me as if i were to be more uh traditional but a woman on the other hand can be let me prioritize my education let me prioritize making money let me act like a guy be like a dude whatever she can still find dates like she still has options right that man that acts more feminine doesn't have as many options as that woman that acts masculine does that make sense mm -hmm. like society doesn't punish women for behaving like men but society absolutely punishes men for behaving like women right. we don't have the same mating options that you got that you do right does that make sense, kind of? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just feel like the part that you're asserting uh, about, you know, you having less options as a guy if you don't adhere to gender roles as strictly than a woman, like, what is that based on? Um, there's a multitude of different things. So, like, if you look at um, dating apps, right, that's a very basic one. Most men struggle on dating apps. Um, mm -hmm. If you're going to talk about uh, marriage rates have been plummeting, right, divorce rates are high, women are initiating it. Um, most men struggle with finding a girl, right? Most guys, uh, I forget which study it was. I think it was either in 2018 or 2020. Study came out saying that like one in three men is either uh, sexless or a virgin, hasn't had sex in years, a virgin. So, sounds right. um, you know, a lot of guys really struggle with, with women. And I mean, hell, I mean, I can go around the table here. Do you talk to most men that try to approach you? Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Wait, say that again. Do you give most men the time of day that try to talk to you? No. Most men? Yeah. <laughs> No. No, right? I don't really go outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get hermit. You give most men that talk to you the time of day. Yeah, because no, I, I actually do. You're dealing with rappers. You're, you're, there's no way. You give, I actually do. You give regular niggas a chance? Yes, I do. Okay, fantastic. Wait, they can smash you? Not smash me, but they can have a conversation. I'm I'm big on. Okay, I'm not talking I mean, about. Like, okay, okay. Okay. Kind of opportunity. All right, girls don't talk to anybody. Uh, okay, easy. let me let me rephrase because uh, yeah. Okay, let no. me rephrase that. I mean, as in actually having a real chance with you, not just talking to them to get some out of them or attention like, or whatever. Because like, girls love attention, right? I'm talking about a dude that you're like, okay, I can actually date this. Like that's my man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my man. Know how they is. Okay, so would you say that's a majority or a minority of men? Majority. You have high standards? Yes, I do. So then if you have... I'm all personality. You can look any type of way as long as you have a good personality. If you have high standards, okay. by definition, that means a majority of men don't measure up. Right, but maybe initially they do. So That's she what I'm gives saying. Like, I met day. a lot of dudes who actually meet standards. But if you have high standards, that means by definition that a majority of men don't rise up because most men are not high to your standards. Nobody tells that me that's not to my standards, so I wouldn't know. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> you, yeah, yeah, we'll move on. I don't think you see the map. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, though, but... If, if, you, yeah. if you have high standards, that by definition, that means most men don't qualify for you. I mean, I don't text back, so if I text you back, you got my standards. Oh, my That's God. my point. Okay, so... Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah, right. so, yes. So, yeah, right. so, yeah, right. so yeah, right. say yes. like a five... Yeah, yeah. so... Oh, my God. Majority. Yeah. Okay. We got you. Oh, well, yeah. Majority. You're a lesbian, but if you do get with a guy, it's a, he's got to probably be very good-looking, have a bunch of stuff going on for Everything. himself. Okay, he's got to be a full package. What about you? Uh, I agree 100%. So majority of men are not attractive to you? Not really. Okay, what about you? Same. Majority of men aren't? Correct. <laughs> Thanks. What about you? <laughs> no. No? No, I don't give them time There you day. go. So even at the old, uh, here at the table, everyone here is pretty damn selective. So that's what I mean when I say most men struggle with women. And I Yo, would, yeah, for sure. I, would I think that's well. true, but I don't know if that's a product of purely uh, gender roles and like the rejection of them. No, it absolutely is because, uh, it, because yeah. women look, for, and I'll tell you why. That it's a component to it. The, the, the it, reason why it's definitely a component. I agree. It's a significant component because when women look at men, right? Like men are more interested in what I call replication value. Is she hot? Can she give me good children? Men, women, on the other hand, are looked at looking at it from a more. Um, uh, they're looking at it from a. Um, like does the guy pro have resources? Mm -hmm. From a resource pr angle, can this guy provide for me and children? So we right. look at the opposite gender differently. So like most men are, let's be honest here, are not in a position to take care of themselves, let alone a woman a and woman, a family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Correct. that is why so many men are disqualified because they don't have their shit together financially. Correct. And then you also got to understand, ladies, like, right, when a man accomplishes certain things financially, mm -hmm. he builds certain characteristics that make him attractive. Right. He's more assertive. He's more dominant. Right. He understands how to network and talk to people. He understands right. how to convey himself properly. He doesn't talk like a fucking retail. Yes. Sir. <laughs> like, he's Correct. able to convey himself in an attractive manner, and he has more worldly experience. These are all things that women look for in men. So right. 
Um, so that's something that's something that's missing, especially with your generation of guys that are Gen Zers. Um, they don't understand how to talk to people. Social media, you can blame it to that degree as well. But also, I'll blame it like the feminization of men, which you were talking about before. I blame a good amount of that on feminism itself because feminism lies to men and tells them women want an equal partner. I disagree with that. I don't think women want an equal partner. I think they want a superior partner. So that is why I don't buy the bullshit. And I just, that's why I said, with, like, with my chick, for example, you work for me. What I say goes, and this is how it goes. Like, she doesn't talk back to me or none of this bullshit. I'm the final right. decision maker. Okay. I don't believe in equality in relationships at all. Right. I mean, if you take awesome. care of her, she got to. She got no choice. Hey, if well, you a boss, you a boss. I mean, but, but it it makes said, her want to more. Yeah, I'm like, correct. yeah, if you provide, that I mean, makes you her want now, to. Now, what that said, it. don't get it twisted. I listen to her opinion. However, yeah, right. um, and her suggestions. However, I make the final decision. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't make mm -hmm. sense or whatever, I'll just be like, no, we're not doing that. Whatever. So, That's she gets my ear. But I make the final decision. But we there's a lot of relationships out there where men will sit there and concede to what their woman wants, which I think is a problem. That's a big mm -hmm. mistake. I don't I don't think it should ever lead relationships ever. So anyway, <laughs> I feel like um, they should voice their opinion. Do you feel like yeah. um, the leader culture voice? and like generation plays a part too, or no? I you said like, culture and gener and generation. Like I say for so. instance, if you like, where are you from? Oh, uh, my family's from Sudan. Okay, she, it's an Arab Middle Eastern country. And where is she from? Do you feel like she's from Venezuela? Okay, so do you feel like you guys different backgrounds and cultures play no, a part? No, 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 no. Her father is okay. very similar to me, actually. Okay. Uh, she came from a two-parent household. Her father's like me. He's very, uh, you know, he's like, hey, you know, this is what it is. No, I, I think culture does play a role in it, obviously. Um, but you know, we live in a very secular world at time nowadays, right? right? Like people don't really acknowledge religion like that. People and with religion, a lot of times traditional conservative roles take place right um so i think there's a bunch of different reasons as to why we are where we are now mm -hmm. um but i do think that feminism is a root cause for a lot of the problems we have socially question yeah by by men being feminine man you think that um feminine fem <laughs> feminized right is what you're trying to ask yeah by men by, being feminized by fe men being feminized do you think that uh, like not even their woman itself like if you're a woman you're woman family was to meet you and by you being a say whatever you just said again men how you think they'll feel upon that like you know you get what i'm saying uh they wouldn't have a problem why not though if, a, if, if it's a problem for a female why shouldn't it be a problem well she comes from a christian household oh. so they understand that the man's a leader okay. and this is with all abrahamic religions like whether it's islam <laughs> judaism christianity every major religion always puts it's basically a patriarchy. I agree on I mean, that. I mean, I real, agree. real quick. I agree on that. Ladies mm -hmm. in here, would you prefer someone to pay your bills or split half with them? Raise your hand. Pay, pay my your bills, bills, daddy. I love hand. you. <laughs> <laughs> pay your bills, right? We, 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 we could phrase it. Would you prefer a man that's a provider or a man that you can go 50-50 with? Raise your hands if you prefer a provider. Raise up hands. Like a pay your bills. Are you, are you I, saying 50-50 like I, like I raise No, no, no. Is. Provider as in he, he pays the majority of the real majority. bills. Or would you prefer a 50-50? So first we'll say, do you prefer a provider? Raise your hand. Raise up hands. I have a caveat. Majority. Majority. Okay. Um, a majority. What's your... But if I could be the nigga with the money, that that's cool too. Oh, really? But then you want to lead... Bruh. Hold on. But then you you want to lead your man then? No, I don't want to lead. But so... if I have to be the nigga with the money to like, but for if myself... Have, but, if, but if you don't have to... If I don't have to... Okay, you see how you kind of <laughs> counteract though, like... But that's this is what no. I mean when I say feminism doesn't make sense. So like you, you do realize like you just c completely contradicted yourself, right? I'm a Libra, so I see both sides though. <laughs> you see me like I'm single Bruh. right now, so right now, yes, of course, I'm handling everything. But when I have a man, baby, take over. Yeah, but you would take not want to be with a man where you're Provide. paying his bills and oh, providing no, no, for him. No. That's what he's asking. <laughs> but right, I just explained it. Didn't I? <laughs> okay, we, we, I didn't explain it. Go ahead. Yeah, you no. You, he you, asked you specifically, would you be with a man where you're taking care of the financial burden? No. Okay. All right. That, we, that, yeah, that's good? that's what he was asking. So you, you answered it differently. <laughs> oh, okay. How did I answer it? Because you said I could be the nigga and I could pay the bills. No, I was saying you meant for that myself, when you're single. When I'm single. When okay. I'm single. Okay, cool. Correct. Yeah, correct. you didn't clarify that. But I wouldn't that. have a problem okay. like helping him out if he's not going to proceed to be able to provide for me after all. And how long would you do that for? Not too long. <laughs> it, it all depends. Because if no I way. see like I'm providing, you just trying to leech off. You me. said a magic word. You said depends. Yeah. No. That is that is why women can't be. In <laughs> see what it means? Like, could too you imagine if you're with a man, right, and he's taking care of you? You think he's gonna say some shit like, uh, like, hey, how long are you gonna take care of your girl? Oh, uh, it depends. We do. Contribute. See how we're different. We like, do. Contribute. That doesn't even come to my mind. Oh, it depends. Let's say like what? Like, no, that's my job. That's my duty as a man. 
But like for women, it's like if you guys are in a provider role, the time clock is always going on when that provider role is going to finish. And you find a guy that can actually provide. It. Yeah, <laughs> that is Does yeah, that make sense? True. Yeah, that's definitely true. So, um, <laughs> who is laying down on me? <laughs> no, we're, you're trying to. Oh, what's your caveat? This is interesting. Uh, so if the fifty-fifty, or yeah, if the fifty-fifty implies that like it's fifty-fifty in general, and uh, ideas are equally taken into account, and he's not. But like you raise the, your hand for a provider, so you prefer the fifty-fifty then. Wait, if that's that side, and then the man paying the bills means that he's also like the leader and like doesn't you know he, he calls the shots and shit yeah then i would take the 50 50. okay Great. so but you would take the breadwinner <laughs> okay so okay now it makes sense okay so yes. you would take the breadwinner but only if you had an equal say yeah but only if we're like distributing things uh in a way that makes sense and is not just like so he has a so let me get this straight he would have 100 percent of the responsibility but half of the authority but also I would have different responsibilities like that's just like the way that it works I would probably generally speaking have a household that either Has at least one joint bank account and a lot of the funds are just pooled um, but like if the choice is a uh, man that runs the house but also pays the bills and Man that does not run the house and also doesn't pay the bills. I'm choosing the one that doesn't run the house and doesn't pay the bills that Ooh, I pay half and half with me. Oh, man. She's saying basically like she don't want a man to have 100% control over her. She want to have half, 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 50 feet. I ain't gonna provide for her, but she still got to have her own opinion. Yeah, yeah. no. Right. What, what, okay, this is what I took from what you said. Correct me if I'm wrong. Confusing. It's, it's me. the two scenarios. The first scenario is he makes all the money, but you want 50% of saying it. Mm. That's the first one. Or if he says, no, you don't get no fucking saying it. You want it. You would prefer the 50-50. Yes. Where you bring half the money, he brings half the money, and you guys have equal say. Right. Okay. So I'll be honest with you. The first one, that's not a realistic scenario. Yes, yeah, not. Um, you cannot have. It is. A lot of people have that. No, no they, they don't. just hold on. No, they don't. Hold on. No, they don't. Are you there? Twenty four seven. What do you mean? It, sounds, there, it, it sounds like they're doing that, but they're really not. Because on you, paper, you're saying like, for example, if they can do. 50, oh, 50, am 50, I right? in this situation? Over yeah. Yeah, it sounds like it, but in, yeah, in reality, it, it, it never happens that way. Here's the thing, man. Um, and, and this is kind of like a ideal like mindset, but it's not real. Like, um, if someone has 100 percent of the responsibility, aka bringing in the money, taking care of you, whatever, it's ludicrous to tell them you only have 50 percent of the authority. My word matters just as much as yours. That's ridiculous, and that's just not how the world works. If I have 100% responsibility, that means I have also 100% authority. Now, what you're saying is, well, I want it to be equitable. Cool. Well, if you want it to be equitable between the two and equal, you know, more egalitarian mindset, then you would have to bring half uh, the financial things. But what I would that's argue— That's not a problem for me, though. And that's fine. That's cool. You say that now. <laughs> but you, know, you, say that now. You, know. you say that now. You're, you're 19 years old, so it's, I'm not going to, like, try to shit on you. But what I'm saying is that I promise you, as you get older, your standards— on men are going to go up and you're going to be less okay with a 50 50 trade-off with a man because what i've realized with women is like if they go 50 50 with a man yeah they'll tolerate it for a bit but most girls don't want to do that especially if you get older you want to have children etc it's very difficult to work a full-time job while also rearing children and then yeah you could always put them in childcare and everything else like that but why do you want strangers dealing with your kids especially in today's crazy world also but yeah think about this Dang, in reality right it is never really 50 50. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Tell me. It's true. Now, granted, though, let's say we're being equal here. Mm -hmm. What if you're also to be drafted too, as a like as a man? Because you want it to be equal, what? right? Like what being drafted. Well, okay, wait. Let's uh, just the basis of I am very likely going to end up marrying a woman and paying half and half anyways. So why you, why you care then? I don't. I'm just answering the questions. I'm trying to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I feel like men, because I come from men being the provider, so yeah. Mm -hmm. And men already like have that dominant mindset, so it's just like you can't take that from them. I mean, we can all agree in a perfect world. Not all. Uh, I was gonna say yeah. that's a minority of guys. Most guys will sit there and you know listen to what their girl says and you know let her lead and mm -hmm. wear the pants in relationship. Mm -hmm. Because they don't but know how to live on I'm speaking 50, on being a provider, though. Oh, oh, you're talking about specific yeah. provider let's, let's be real here, though. A lot of guys aren't providers nowadays. So, uh, as yeah. a result... Yeah, that's a minority yeah. of men nowadays, yeah, yeah. unfortunately. But that's why I said, do y'all feel like... Merch. Generation and culture plays a part in it? Or 100%. no? Yeah, okay. it does. Yeah. It does. It absolutely yeah. does. I mean... Yeah, it, it's it, religion plays a part in it, culture plays a part in it, eth, uh, uh, background family. plays a role in mm -hmm. it, family, all of that. So right know? now, what y'all feel like is the most important thing that plays a part in a man feeling like he needs to be a provider 
or y'all feel like men don't care to be providers at this day of age? A majority of men don't care to be providers nowadays. Yeah, why feel like that? Why not? I'm I mean, saying there's like, a multitude of reasons why. Um, she's asking what's, what's the biggest contributor? It's like? feminism. Yeah. I'll mm-hmm. say it's, uh, feminism is by far the biggest contributor as to why men no longer um, want to be providers <sighs> because women run around and say, I don't, I mean, hell, let's go back literally 15 minutes ago on this podcast. We asked you, do you need a man? A majority of you said no. So let me ask you a question. If I'll use this analogy. Let's say you're walking down the street, right? We give a, the, the dream world Soundbite. shit. Soundbite. Stupid. Sorry, man. That was great. Yeah, because you're... Oh, yeah. Oh, that's for you. Stupid. Okay. <laughs> um, let's say you're walking down the street, right? And you see an old lady. And she's, like, fucking struggling with some grocery bags. Help me! She's, like, fucking, you know, no! flopping all over the place and all sort of shit, right? She just came from Publix, right? We're down here in Florida. She's fucking, you know, struggling. And um, she can't can barely carry the bags. Would you help her? Yes. Yeah. You would all help her, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see. You see an able-bodied man, great shape, etc. He's he got like twenty bags like this. He's just walking like this. Would you stop him and say, "Hey, do you need help?" Would you yeah. Help me? Not if he's not struggling at all. No. He's not struggling. He's, he's like <laughs> no. just trucking. No. Fantastic. No. Yeah, so imagine that dude that's walking with the bags like this. That's a lot of you single independent women. That's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's, that's you guys. That's how, right? right? Versus <laughs> why, why would we help you? Why would we help you when you don't need it? Mm-hmm. So that's how right. a lot of men think. It's like, okay, girls make their own money. Why the fuck do I need to step up and make a bunch of money? Why mm-hmm. do I care? Mm-hmm. Right? Women need to understand that like a lot of the modern conveniences that we have now, a lot of the inventions, a lot of the um, uh, success that men have, it's derived from their, uh, their need to compete for women. Mm-hmm. Right to get for attractive sure. women. Mm-hmm. You guys think we fucking wear Rolexes and drive Lambos and all this shit for dudes? No, it fills up to us. We live in a fucking cardboard box. We don't give a shit about none of that stuff. <laughs> it's all a status symbol to attract the most women possible. So, um, when women when there's no longer that need, right, that impetus or need for men to create, and the women are more self sufficient, why the fuck are we gonna help y'all? Yeah, you make yeah. your own money, right? You're strong and independent. Yeah, and then you listen to the rap music. You listen to Music in general, right? We don't need men, etc. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll listen to and they poison you guys even more, right? To make you realize, oh, all the single ladies, all the shit, and like they they put it on a pedestal that you don't need men. So, it's in the culture. It's with the women. It's it. The fe- women are running around saying that we're strong and independent. We don't need men. So why the hell are guys gonna step up? They don't need to, right? Right. It's That's all a lot of guys. Behavior. It takes a guy like me, right, to sit there and say this is all a bunch of bullshit. Mm-hmm. You guys don't know nothing. Mm-hmm. I'm the leader. Yeah. For a girl to like be like, oh, okay, now I can finally be with a guy and submit, but it's like. I had to break through so much bullshit mm-hmm. to be able to see through the lies mm-hmm. to tell you what it really is, right? Mm-hmm. But most men simply aren't going to do that mm-hmm. because they're going to believe what the world tells them. They're going to believe pop culture yeah, and all sort of shit. Agenda. Yep. You I think it's true? Right, man. Definitely the agenda. You think it's true that uh, the majority of men don't care about, like, you know, being ambitious and satisfying their potential and shit aside from how it affects their you know yeah they don't situation with women yeah no they don't i mean a lot of guys are addicted to porn a lot of mm. guys are you know Sad. paying for <laughs> prostitutes uh they're you know sex dolls is like an emerging marketplace so um you know and then you look at social media it's like blunted people's ability to speak properly and coherently so ai yeah ai so th- there's a lot of things uh that are in play obviously right and i don't want to sit here and blame it but th- this is just the reality that we're in so like yes a lot of men aren't necessarily as ambitious and also you got to keep in mind too ladies and i talk about this in my book why women? Uh, I talk about how feminism effectively doubled the workplace. So, if you double the workplace um, employees, well, guess what? As an employer, you could pay half as much. Mm-hmm. It used to be you go back maybe 60, 70 years ago, you used to be able to sustain a family on one income and have a house. Correct. You can't do that anymore. Right. And it's because of inflation. It's also because feminism has basically doubled the workforce. So now, now women are competing for men with men in these same job markets. And that's why if you look at job markets that women don't dominate, what do they tend to be? They tend to be higher paying Mm -hmm. and more laborious. Construction work, electrician, plumbing, all these blue-collar jobs that women don't want to do, do, they're still high paying. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, because women aren't in in these workplaces anymore. Or sorry, they were never in these workplaces. Mm -hmm. So they're still able to pay a high wage. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what it is. So there's a multitude of different reasons why guys aren't ambitious, but that's a part of it.